Hi guys, this is Pamela with Pamela's Tarot Tales, and this is an unboxing today. I just got a package. I've only cut it open. Um, this I purchased from a guy in Portugal, and this is my first international purchase. Um, and it went really well. The guy was really nice. I was able to wasn't able to track it, but he gave me the tracking number for the Portugal portion. But came effortlessly and great trade. Today it is the um, Jacques Vavel Tarot and the Tarot of Nostradamus, which is also known as the Tarot of the Centuries, I believe. So they're both Marseille style decks. Um, um, all right. We have the boxes. They're tuck boxes. They are a bit beat up, which I was not quite prepared for. That wasn't in the description, but I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, they're just a little bit more rugged than I had expected. But again, not a big deal. This is the Tarot Jacques Vivelle from 1643 to 1664 from Paris. And as, if I understand correctly, there is a book available for this. I don't have it, but I don't know if I need it. So I really like the card size. There's the, the intro card. And another intro card. These are the backs. This is the Vivelle. I really like the backs. Um, the cardstock, um, not bad. I like the sharp corners. They're kind of, um, they've got a coating on them, but they don't feel like super glossy. But they definitely have a coating on them. And they do not have any names if you can see that I am outside today and it's one of those crazy days hair's crazy hat's crazy whatever but I wanted to get on here and do an unboxing so this is the full let's see if I can get it where you can see it there we go I like this full but it does not have any name or Number, this is the magician. It does not have a name or number. So none of them do, which I actually am pretty stoked about. The other thing I'm noticing is this little stamp that so far is on every card. Face. Look at that face. So interesting. Emperor. Looks like he's not quite fully seated, but getting ready to get up and go, which has interesting connotations. The Pope or Hierophant. I do have to say what I'm liking so far is that the image really takes up the whole card, even though there's a small border, and I really like the uneven borders. Um, it, I don't know, it gives it a sense of authenticity or something to me. That it works on this one, I guess because it's not so big, and they're not so um, obtrusive. And they're also not quite pure white, uh, which makes it work really well. But this fills the whole image, and I feel like you're they're a little bit closer than some decks and you're able to really get in there oh, sorry about the noise my neighbor but okay and that one does have a number so it looks like we're starting to get yeah we do have numbers now so it just looks like oh the magician did have a number it's just so faded you can't see it so there it is but they don't have any names Chariot. 
And I do believe this one has some different numberings. This is strength and it is nine, which is interesting. The chariot is eight. So it has a different, a little bit different. And justice is seven. So a bit, a bit strange, but I'm, I'm actually excited to see how that plays out and if it makes a difference. It may or may not, but Will of Fortune 10, Hermit, oh, he has really nice eyes, really soulful eyes, uh, but look how much he fills the frame, and this one actually goes this way, believe it or not, so the number's up top. And this is one of the strange things that, the quirky things I really enjoy about this deck is that the um, hangman is actually hanging, I guess right side up, but still hanging by the foot. So it's an interesting thing. And I did research this particular aspect, and I don't remember exactly what it said, but it is supposed to be viewed this way for upright. Hmm. Cardstock feels pretty thick, actually. Um, there's death. This death looks like a combination. Like, he's still got a little bit of skin on him or something. Interesting. Is that temperance? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, Temperance. It's interesting, she's kind of looking away like, oh, it's no big deal, I, got, I can balance this with my eyes closed almost. There's a power that that is different than some of the other decks that I see. Um, but it's just kind of nonchalant, like, hmm, yeah, I can do this. Um, and this card is the Devil, and it's probably one of my favorite Devils that I've seen. It's one of the reasons I really wanted this deck. Um, I'm not sure that the camera's picking it up, but yeah. I really like this guy. I like that there's movement. I like that he's facing a direction. Um, I like his little fat ear things, his faces on the knees, and he's almost jolly. And there's something, I can't tell if that's something in his hand or just the way his hand is, but there's not necessarily figures chained to him, um, but there is a sense of power and ownership in that. Oops. And then this is the tower. Um, and apparently this burning tree is a specific type of, um, it's not the purest form of uh, Marseille, but it is part of history and part of um, the changing and what's happening there and um, references a lot of things and something I need to do more research on because I don't know that much about it but it is a regional thing um, to the France to Paris and um, but I really like this aspect it feels even I don't know something really natural about it it also in a way ties into like the burning bush and Christianity um, which I would have to explore further if I so choose but um, I'm also really liking this really dark, kind of greenish gray happening right here. Um, and this kind of ash raining down. Really kind of cool. Can't figure out what that is up there. If anybody knows, let me know. Sorry, this is getting really long and I'm just excited. And I like to look at things closely. This is... 17. Drawing a blank on that card, but I really like it. Very, very different. Very cool. There's your sun. Yeah, it looks like an angry sun, which is strange, but. And then this big naked baby man. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not so excited about this one. 
Oh, mosquitoes are bad already. Judgment. And there's your world card. <laughs> okay, and your ace. It does come with a little white book, and we'll look at that in a second. And I'll go through the these a little bit faster. Ace of Swords, so we're on the swords. Two, three, four. Um, it's interesting, the colors I really like, and I like the, the fatness of the red lines. There's something really calling to me about the patterns that are happening there, and the patterns that are happening there, this illusion to pattern. Um, I guess that's your page. That's a big page. And again, I really like how in your face these cards are, how up into the frame. Um, and it kind of reminds me of how I draw um, and you know very very close perspective and I enjoy that and I like how they're almost about to burst out. They, it gives it a different energy that than some other cards have and a little less voyeuristic, a little bit more um, intense. There's your knight, queen, King, Ace of Cups, two, page. Well, it's interesting, the, page, the pages have such an age to them that we typically associate pages with, or a lot of people associate pages with um, kind of a younger, but and this can really speak to youngness in a different way than physical age. Um, but they seem so big, like that big cup. Really cool. Um, oops. There's your knight. Does not look too happy, this knight of cups. I do have to say, it's interesting to look at their faces. She looks happy. Um, some of them have, really have like a moodiness to them. It'd be interesting to see how this reads for that reason, if it plays a part. But, um, <laughs> I like this guy. Ace of Wands. Oh, gosh. Sorry if this is getting long. But whatever. Make it a big old mess over here. There's your page. It's a little awkward in the drawing with that arm sticking out and this arm looks like it's got a big broken shoulder or something. Um, I'm an artist, so that kind of um, I notice those things, but it doesn't bother me. I enjoy it. Um, I like this one. I like this one. Like the horse up on its rear hind legs and the way he moves it. He doesn't look scared or upset. It's like, okay. Um, it's the queen. She's rather creepy. King. And he's not seated. He that's interesting. He's got this almost contra body posture, which is really interesting. This um, almost forceful. Ace of Pentacles. Two three. I'm actually glad that these are in order because again an unboxing you never know and it's a used deck. I don't really think it was used too too much other than you know I don't know. Interesting. A little different floral pattern for that card. There's your 
change night. Oh, look at her clean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that is a big old mess on my table over here. They fit nicely in the hand, and this is the book, the little white book. It is just that, a little white book. Let's see. It looks like it's in French. Yes. Let's see. Sometimes these books have another way. Nope. It is all in French. Uh, looks like a little bit of history of that. I will research to see if I can find a translation online, but I'm glad it has the little white book. And the top box. So again, that's the Vivelle from about 16 something. 16. Not sure, but now we have the Terra de Nostradamus. Again, I think it's, oh, that tuck box broke. Wish I had known. But, again, I'm not kind of neurotic about that stuff, so. This is the little white book. It's got a nice little drawing of the moon on the back, which I enjoy. Um, a drawing of temperance on the inside cover. That's nice. And a drawing of the star on the inside back cover. I really like just the drawing on this kind of yellowy paper. So it looks like it is not in English. Probably French. Let's see. But it does give a little bit about each card and a few other things. But again, it's not in English, which doesn't help me. That's okay. It does look like there is a spread in there. If it'll focus. And which may be worth trying to translate. Um, Maybe not. And then another, looks like some sort of Celtic cross type spread. <laughs> All right. So they are probably about the same size as the Vivelle. Let's take a look. Nope, they are a little bit, just a tad wider. You can see that little bit, the eighth inch or so. Quarter, not quite quarter inch. A little bit wider. And, shut up. These are the backings, which I did not know that these were the backings, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I love, love, love these. Um, and again, reversible, if reversals are your thing, which I do enjoy reversals, personally. And, here you go. Little fool. And I like that it's the cat version. And the colors are um, completely different, and it has a completely different feel than the Vivelle. Um, let's see if I can find a year. It does not say, so I'll have to do a little research on that. Um, it is published by Heron. Head on. Uh, it looks 1503. There's something about 1503 in the little book, but again, I could be making that up. Anyway, so this is the cardstock. Decent. Well, yeah, pretty nice. Not too bad. Let's see. 
inches. Bonkus. Huh. Interesting. She does not look happy. <laughs> so the fa the colors are kind of faded. Um, which I like. I don't like bright colors in my uh, Terra de Marseille decks for whatever reason. I find them garish and, and off-putting. Um, or at least I haven't found one that I like, which I'm open to. But this one seems really, um, I don't know, like a, almost like marker type, but not, I don't know. It's interesting. I'm not sure this will be my favorite deck or not, but I do love the, love, love, love the backs. The Grand Pasteur. Huh. So the, the, tad, the names are different. The style is different. Um. Lovers. Now it almost seems blurry. Uh, but you can see that the way that, if you can look closely, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it there's like almost little scratch marks in the way that the coloring is done. Uh, and it's like they kind of just wiped it on. Um, like dry painting almost. I've never seen that in in a deck. <laughs> Weird. I like this hermit though. He has a gentle spirit about him. And an old soul kind of kind eyes. Interesting. Oh, this is getting to be a long video, of course. And I, I'm not, I'm not enjoying her face on this. So there's a, I mean, I often feel when they portray the hand going into the mouth or opening the mouth, I personally feel really sadness to it because as an animal communicator, I'm, I don't know, ripping open the jaws or something. It, it's, I don't know that that's the best representation of what this card means to me anyway. But I can relate to her kind of trepidation, but sadness that goes along with this, like, forceful, you know, this isn't, I know it's a matter of trust and, and guidance and strength, and, um, but there is that, like, almost upsetness that happens. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays into the readings with her face, with, like, oh, oh I can do this, but, yeah. Hangman. <laughs> He's like happy, almost um, goofy. I like the goofy. And I think Lubintang. Interesting. I've never seen these particular names. Again, I'm new, kind of new to Marseille, so I am loving the exploration that's happening with it. But um, I like how they've colored some of the the, ske the skeleton and the bones and the. The posture he's in and the kind of moving forward it's there's some awkwardness that's really working he looks like he's almost got a mustache um, but it, I think it's a mask there's a mask on his face and there are body parts which I'm not sure you can see but there's a hand and there's even a face and um, almost oh, weird 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 in a good way Face in the belly. Interesting, these two postures, how they're related and tied in. And he looks almost high or something. He looks doped up. <laughs> he looks bored. So, I'm not sure that I anticipated this deck being so... Um, Almost pastel -y. They're not pastel -y, but kind of, there's a, a weird way, coloration that's happening. And, 
it's going to take some getting used to. I'm not sure that the camera really does this one justice either. So, but again, it's pretty neat. It's definitely a different, has different style artwork. I do really like this moon. I like the way the sun, the sun and moon are done together here. And look at they're happy. They're happy. <laughs> the sun. Cool. Judgment. World. Interesting. I like the world. It's interesting they covered her up. And what's going on behind her? Is that that's the ribbon? Is that a cape? What is that? Ace, Pentacles, Now the coloration seems very different on this one. Much more bold. Still has that kind of scratchy overlay. It's like the inks weren't fluid. Um, six, seven. Yeah, see how bold it gets compared to the others? And I guess I kind of expected a little bit more of this than the really washed out. But I'm cool with it. I think it's going to be fun to play with and see. Maybe for a page. A cavalier, a knight. Queen. King. Here's our Ace of Swords. Two. Wow. There's a three. Ha! Huh. Seems almost sparse. Um, I like how it relates to the back on that one, though. And there's like almost, they're almost disappearing. Hmm. Sure changes the energy though for me on how, I mean the reading will still be similar, but it does change how you interact with the, the energy of the cards. Um, page. The big page. Night. Again, I like with this one how how he's really in the frame. I like his like Mickey Mouse ears up there <laughs> and his little stash, big stash. Um, this gun's almost forked. Weird. Cool though. There's the envy of Nostradamus. If you guys know anything about this deck or either of these decks, I would love some more information. Um, um, if you work within either of them, let me know. Let me know, especially with the really curious about the numbering with the Vivelle, if that makes a difference for you, or if it just is irrelevant. Ten. There's our page. I like this page. Knight. Queen. King. Ace of Wands. I like the ruffle and the light around the hand coming in. <laughs> uh, oops. Seven. Eight. Nine. Knight. 
Oh, that's interesting. The horse and the the uh, the guy and the knight are kind of looking back. They're looking down and back. All right, and these are just two blank cards. Okay, good deal. All right, guys, so that is my unboxing for the Tarot de Nos uh, Nostradamus and the Jacques Vavel. And I hope to see you guys next time. This was Pamela from Pamela's Tarot Tales, and have a great day.